a church with buildings where monks or nuns live, that dictionary definition doesn't describe this abbey. The faithful come in droves to this West Hollywood hotspot for its high energy music, signature cocktails, and scantily clad dancers. David Cooley opened the Abbey 31 years ago. At that time, I had no idea that it would become what it is today. This is what the business looked like in 1991, just a small coffee house. Cooley says he wanted to create a safe space for the gay community, one that was out in the open and not behind closed doors, a place where everyone is welcome. Its motto, come as you are. After getting a hold of stained glass windows for decorations, he decided to go with a religious-themed atmosphere, and he called it the Abbey. A-B-B-E-Y had the fewest letters, and it saved money on signage. So that's why we picked the Abbey, because we could afford the big signage. We are thinking of longer names, and like, look how much money we could save if we went with the Abbey. Three years later, the Abbey moved across the street. Since then, it has expanded five times to its current 18,000 square foot space. So this is the main room. This is the, what we call the patio bar. And there's four bars within the Abbey. Cooley's activism and charitable outreach also grew. What began with advocating for those suffering during the AIDS crisis evolved into being front and center in the struggle for same-sex marriage. And in 2016, after a gunman opened fire on LGBT people at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, the Abbey raised money for victims and families. It really affected all of us. I think the, our entire community was totally affected. That was, you know, hitting our community, killing our brothers and sisters. There's 49 individuals that were killed innocently going out to have a nice night out. With fundraisers for numerous causes like its annual Children's Hospital LA event, Cooley also considers the Abbey a community center and a town hall. It has played host to numerous dignitaries, including a who's who of politicians and celebrities. Last year, Lady Gaga celebrated the 10-year anniversary of her album, Born This Way There, and the late Elizabeth Taylor personally gifted this portrait to the Abbey because it was a favorite place she frequented. We would sit for a drink or drinks. And I would still pinch myself, and I still do, saying, I'm sitting here with Elizabeth Taylor having martinis after another martini, after a shot, after another martini. And she told me stories uh, that I will never share. She was really wonderful to our community. What started as a small haven for the gay community has become a home for so many. You know, it's so great when you look over and you, you see such a large crowd in your, in your business and you see someone from 21 or a young couple, a straight couple, a family, someone's in the older, you know, upper 80s. Uh, all, it's a huge melting pot, you know, and it's, it's no longer a gay club. It's a gay club where everyone's welcome. Cooley is optimistic about the Abbey's future and is confident its bold and generous spirit will live on. Well, I just hope that in 30 years from now, if the Abbey's still here, I'm sure it will be, that it still has the message that everyone's welcome. Come as you are. In West Hollywood, Bob DeCastro, Fox 11 News.